it would be very difficult not to wreck yourself about uh, let me show you a teddy bear so you can see how the teddy bear tried to get me this is what you what you saw the first when you go inside of the store you see this beautiful teddy bear with the medals and that triggers the memory the beautiful another memory on you and before you know you are down the road wrecked let's go and see the teddy bear here is the teddy bear you see the beautiful teddy bear uh now what happens is this is a teddy bear you're gonna see no matter what you're gonna come to the store and you're gonna see with these medals you're gonna see one and on top of that the medals are german medals yeah back then Ruskis presented me like I was a German, I was a evil German. He says, Deutsch, Deutsch medal for you and this and that. And so this was a, such a mush potato they created here, hoping that how I'm going to go and jump on it. Instead of that, what I do is I let her suffer a little bit, her and teddy bear. And the Russian teddy bear ends not well then. Uh, I walk out of the store, I go a little bit around, I think about all the stores that are next to her store. This is a whole bunch of stores now. Um, then I'll come back and I'm going to take the teddy bear out immediately. And I'm going to proceed to the whole bunch of other stores and identify them all, basically. Uh, but I let her think about how the teddy bear is going to get me. This time I recognize the teddy bear trap immediately already when i walk in the park and i am talking to myself uh, you can hear me that i already know what the teddy bear is all about but i'm thinking about some other store that i'm not certain about and that's at Tsukyarna. that's a shop uh, in front of this shop a bakery shop for which truly i am not sure about whether uh Again, in the memory, I cannot picture one when exactly this store was created. And that was yet another trouble. But for all other stores, I know including the teddy bear is, is clear to me. All I want to do is when I come back, I go through all the stores trrr, like a domino effect. Uh, that's basically when I identify her like this in the face. And I'm laughing about the teddy bear too. Okay, so I'm at the at the store with this with this teddy bear and with this lady um, who thinks she's gonna trick me for sure. Oh, she's smiling so nice. Uh, I thank you very much. Bye bye. I'm out. She is 100% at this point that uh, she's going to trigger me because I was about a teddy bear and so on and so forth. And I just like it, the way she is happy laughing like this. I like it so much. Because it's going to hurt when I come back. She is certain it's going to be good. Bezirk Meister, it says. Bezirk, Bezirk Meister, Bezirk Meister, this is like... In German, if you would translate to English, it's like a, a champion of the area. Huh? Imagine this on the medal, German German medals, Bezirk Meister, Bezirk area champion. This is a beautiful, beautiful brainwash. Hardly we are not jump for that one. And that's why disappointment is even bigger when I come back. This is sweet. 70 stores identified, four neutral so far. 17 businesses and people also identified. 
salespeople as well as business owners identify. Yeah, because the Slovenian this is manual, no, our website, this is manual, it's uh, thanks to the cases in here with Vatican Ketchup. Tell us that. Tell us that. Tell us that. Tell us that. Okay, this is a clothing stop. This uh, clothing store, uh, <laughs> right next to her, I think. Um, that's an 18 shop already identified. Let me see this. This is manual, no, I've got to clap. This is manual. It's thanks to the city to deal with Vatican Ketchup. 2005, 100%. Boom. 18 stores identified for neutral. Big trouble, I mean, if this is the shop I'm talking about, but I'm not sure. Oh, a beautiful, beautiful teddy bear. I'm back in that shop. <laughs> Misho, 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 a teddy bear in Polish, something like that. And she is wearing uh, such a um, hmm, sexy clothing too. Um, you can see her tummy and everything. Uh, smiling so nicely. Yeah, everything's supposed to go so beautiful. Bezirk Meister medals and so on. It's so sweet everything. Let's see how it's gonna end though. She's just waiting for me to go and ask her. And I will. Next time I'm going to ask her if she remembers me in the store 
however, with the Russians. I want, I want mm, right now what I'm doing basically, okay, I'm being a little bit naughty too. <laughs> Right now, I'm making the lady a little bit even more excited, you know, and what I do is I ask her if I can please take a photo of the teddy bear, and she says, yes, yes, you can, yes, you can. She's so beautiful, I tell her, and she's so 100% I'm going to fall for it, and when I don't fall for it, you, I, she, I wish I had a camera. I would record her nose dropped down completely. It was very, very, very bad. But she smiles with me, anyways. We both laughed then. I say she. I repeat in Polish the name of the bear. It's so beautiful, I say. And I am laughing and I say to her, you know, what could this teddy bear tell us if he could speak? Do you think he could he could give me his own story? What would his story be if he could talk? What would he say to me? The Kirkmeister. The Kirkmeister. Mishu Mashu I am a little bit in doubts. No, I'm not in doubts. About the teddy bear, I was not in doubts even for a second. I'm in another store right now. And I am asking about the store I was already inside. Because why am I asking about the store where I was already across the street? Because the Russians have orchestrated throughout the years, also in 2013 and 2015 and 2017, and I believe also in 2010, 
uh, a ghost shops where I would be brought it, that they would walk me through and they would start to create idea to me that there were clothing store shops over there. They started to create their own picture, their own cre uh, picture. And the lady tells me there never was any clothing shops across the street over there where I made a mistake. This is the shop right next to the teddy bear shop. She says they never were. I'm still in doubts about the idea that Russians created across the street about those clothing store shops. So the first, what I do is, I go to the stores and I see the stores, and then I would go out and think about a little bit because there's a whole chain of the stores I'm going to return and go over. the store I was in and this store too these are two clothing stores that could be at any time they could be one month old two years old four years old six years old eight years old whatever they could be no difference between this shop or the shop that opened that was open just two weeks or one month you cannot tell anything but i will come back and i will identify all of them thanks also to the employees that are inside because it's going to be also employees i will identify too and i will identify them all the way to 2005 regardless of the russian setups with the clothing stores which one existed only for two weeks another one existed only for one month and so on. Regardless of that, I will come back here and I will identify them all the way to 2005. All this stuff I'm going to do. With. Ruskis did. Ruskis did certain businesses, certain type of the businesses. with a certain idea so they would not only trick me on those businesses but foremost the idea was to discourage me to morally uh, discourage me to the, to the point that i would go and basically self-discredit myself also with the clothing stores that existed already for a very long time so this was done in a such a way that psychologically it would crush you if you remember how the lady that I told you about that she actually even like started to evaluate me if I'm mentally okay and stuff like that and it was a clothing shop that was open only one month the other one was open only two weeks and I remember the scenario about how one store opened across the street and then the other one uh, one was so good and then the other one was also open across the street and stuff like that a total cluster right next to the stores clothing stores that were open already in 2005 this is how the Ruskis did this and in between those stores that were open already in 2005 they set the store with a teddy bear with a sexy teddy bear lady whose store by the way was open I think I asked her for 2017 or 2015 I am 100% correct this Ruski business the way they have done here in this street where the police station is located was a killer business this was designed you would have to be like extra extra intelligent and brave and everything in between 
that so that you could do something like I have done in identifying this street which thanks God I did because it was very hard time I had before I came to identify the area around the police station you have no idea what I have gone through so the Ruskis have done themselves uh, well anything they had I'm not gonna say advantage but they have available at the hands basically it was an exposed expose basically was available to them was anything they would want they would ask for any kind of abuse anything they would want against me and that's why I'm saying that this is a politic that is so primitive Putin politic is so primitive that is this is scary scary uh, scary I would no longer in 2017 I was so excited about the Russia about the Belarus and stuff I I don't actually I don't even dare to think about anymore this is this is sickening this is primitive more than anything this is primitive I don't understand how you can possibly go and do this stuff like this actually this was not easy stuff this was so I'm looking at this store so I'm evaluating because at one point I'm gonna turn back here and then I'm gonna go over the whole thing it's a lady shop yet another lady shop The scenario was diabolical. They diabolically wanted to get me. Diabolical stuff. I'm yet in another store. I'm in the library shop. Ugh, this one is so 100%. Uh, I'm certain about, especially when I see the military stuff, the books. This gentleman always had. Gentleman gestures that, however, as an owner, that he is not always present there. But when Americans and Israelis were there, he was present and he did have this kind of books. Uh, very well remember us when we would go inside the store and we would converse eventually. Uh, he also went to Slovenia and stuff just like 
uh, the lady over there. Um, there's a whole bunch of Georgian people that ended up in Slovenia somehow. Uh, also another gentleman here from the Forwerk Hotel and so on. A uh, gentleman already was in our house in residence in Novo Mesto too and so on. Um, there's a whole, the whole a lot of stuff still coming folks. And I'm not, while I am not certain about whether this gentleman was in our house in Novo Mesto, that is something I cannot say. Um, however, I can quickly recall him, uh, his shop and everything. I cannot recall him. I don't recall him having him uh, in Novo Mesto, the gentleman from the library store uh, it's a library store i cannot recall this um but again i cannot recall him like a gentleman here from the forward hotel or the lady at the flea market which i have identified whose family was in novo mesto in our house too but I can identify his store and he tells me also he was in Slovenia so you know um, I asked for 2004 2005 for his shop gives me a green light 19 store 19th store identified 100% boom 100% correct so this is quite impressive, 19 store, identify all the way to 2005. This is a heavy duty good stuff. This is very good stuff, this is very, very good stuff. So don't say that I was not here in 2002, you know. Don't even try to say that I was not here in 2002. Because I know this place like in my back pocket. Really. And the best part about it is that people know me. This is the best about the best. Because when the people get to know you, that's when you actually have a life. There is a chance for you in that place. That's why I like this place so much. It's more important when people know you. Yeah, okay, we talk about. Okay, let me let me hear this again. He is laughing a lot, he knows what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna come back to you, sir, to see if you can give me a green light that you do remember me. He said that he was not here, that he is owner. There was a particular American guy. No, he is he is in the US. Yeah, 
Ja tak, ale ja wtedy w tej nie, nie, nie byłem. Ja, to się zmieniło. Ja byłem wtedy, nie, nie miałem, wcześniej miałem głosić. I recognize his selection, his book selection. He always had a military type of like uh, interesting stuff, which also I think he got an idea a little bit from Americans, from this older American was one older American knew about so many things. It was interesting. And they also, they, they also had one Israeli guy, older guy too. And um, they were excited about coming to this place because they, they, they had some interesting books. They wanted to see how in Poland, how they, what kind of books they, they get to see in Poland from the military perspective, from Polish view on how they see it as. And there were interesting books, stuff like this. Um, stuff I have mentioned, just like in the store with pharmacy store, I have identify, identified a special selection of the natural food products like granola, like, yeah, you know, like a snack bars, okay? That's like the best description, like natural snack bars and, and natural just food, expensive stuff like that. I have also identified the type of books he always had in this particular area of this bookstore. The same thing. <laughs> It always was, but now it's more, he said. Always was, I tell him, always was. I say, I cannot say how much more it is, but I remember that he always had this. So this is a 19th store identify 100%. He tells me he is also was in Slovenia and so on. Piran in Slovenia. Maribor, Slovenia. Ljubljana. Postojna. So he got an idea about Slovenia from some place. Oh, that's true. I can help myself to mention him that a lot, a lot of Zgirjan people all of a sudden were in a tiny little Slovenia. Slovenia is just uh, 2 million people and it's a little dot on the map. And from what I have observed, so many people from Zgirj came to Slovenia. Well, why would so many people from Zgirj come to Slovenia? Hmm. It's got to be some kind of reason for that. Something brought them. Who is in Slovenia that they would go so much to Slovenia? So he's laughing. Oh, 
Słowenii jest wszystko. No, I Alki są, i, i, i brzegi uh -huh. śródziemne. Uh, he said because uh, he was on the way to Croatia. I don't know if he went everywhere in Slovenia. It was. It must have been a little bit more than just a stop uh, through Slovenia or something like this. Because when you go from one side to another side and you go everywhere, that is a little bit more than just going through the country. And I say Croatia is very beautiful, and he says, "Oh, but Slovenia has everything." He's very excited about Slovenia. How many people here from Zgrz? Slovenia, my goodness, here from Grotniki there are people that were in Slovenia. What's going on? The whole Zgrz and Grotniki in Slovenia. Let's go on. The gentleman traveled all the way to Montenegro and there was a lot of Russian people over there in Montenegro. He also have spoken with the Serbian people. They would like to go to the European Union as well. And I tell him, yes, that is true. Uh, in fact, the North Korea would like also to be a member of the European Union. We are laughing. Uh, I'm out of there. Uh, I steal him a candy with his permission. And I head to the next tour.
Failure for me. This shop already was open in 2009. That would give me at least I should ask for 2010. Failure for me because I asked for 2015. Failure for me because before I came to this shop, and I most likely have an audio recording, which I believe I do, on the day I have audio recorded the bank, Paribas Bank, where I have account, I have also identified in the same street a bank that goes all the way to 2008. Year of the opening I have identified, I have identified employee, I can also identify other people at the bank. Um, I have eventually, I believe, mentioned the store at one point that was open. No, this, this was open, I think, in 2008, something like this. I'm not sure. I have gestured alone that the store, this store, From the outside, from the outside, they have identified one as 2006. Sometimes in maybe I'm gonna say even three months ago was this. Then I returned. I went inside the store right now, as you're about to hear. And the only thing that I can recall was this was done very, very violently. They would subject me to the torture in front of the lady, Russians I'm talking about, on how the store is a brand new store that the store just opened. Um, and they pointed me out certain uh, in the store which before it was different and you're talking about like a little pole like this in the middle uh, where the whole area was exchanged and the problem here in this store is that I remember how the old store looked like um, so well and then this store uh, rearranged something and the Russians have used the whatever have changed in the store and basically i'm talking about the pole that goes inside the flooring um as being something completely new and they brainwashed and brainwashed and brainwashed that the store was open in 2015 and that's what i asked her for 2015 lady knows me very very well but I'm not sure if I'm going to go to her and I would ask her if she remembers me, what, how the Ruskis have done this kind of stuff to me, she definitely will not remember me, but maybe she can remember me 
when I was there so many times with Americans. But other than that, this was a mistake. I am not going to claim credit for this one. 2015 is not good enough. Um, the same employee, the same lady was there. Ah, a nightmare. Really a nightmare in respect to... Um, What I can do is I can go back to this store and I can identify her that she was, in fact, she's either the first employee or maybe she even is an owner of the store. I can tell you that. That I remember her from since from forever. Because when the Russians did the brainwash also, you see, it was too late in that case. She was also the one saying to me, no, 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 but this is not the way it was. But this is the way it goes. And that's why you're going to hear me in a little bit. I don't know if you're going to hear me in the recorder. I go again behind the building and I, you know, I'm very disappointed with the police. You know. But as I have stated, it's got nothing to do with the police. Really got nothing to do with the police. She's also very nervous because she wants to help me at all costs. All these people are eager on only one thing. They are motivated in helping me out as much as possible they can. And when I make a mistake, when I make a mistake, it's nothing bigger disappointment to them than when I make a mistake. I feel more sorry for them than myself. Really, I don't feel sorry for myself. But I am very, very sorry. The most that it hurt me is when I saw them disappointed, because the only, the only, what these people wanted for me was the best. This is why this place. Two thousand fifteen, I asked her, but the store was ready in two thousand and eight. Uh, it's raining, and on top of that, it's going to be lunch at the center. We'll stop here and come back. We'll continue from there. And we continue where we left off. Um, believe me, I'm disappointed. Uh, but I really feel for her. Because she is heartbroken at this point. This lady wanted to help me big time, just like other people did. On my scale, uh, she is worth it no less than the people that I managed to accomplish, uh, you know, that I recognized that I got a 100% hit. It's no less than that, and it goes the same for everybody else. This is a very special place for me, this Girsh. Let's continue with this. This is a little tricky arna in the same building. Uh, the only thing I can tell is the only thing I can the only thing uh, there is something about this. As soon as I leave this place, after she tells me it was open in 2008, another business was inside. Uh, you see, this is a trouble. You start we started identifying businesses in 2002. Then you have in this store business, I was brought in 2002, in 2003, in 2004, in 2005, 6, 7, 8, and it changed in 2008 with another business. 
you see. So this is, this is a trouble. This is a trouble, but there is something else about it. I head to the next door. That's a Sukjarna, a bakery shop. And then it's a next one right next to it, which is flower business. In both of these shops, there are the same people that were over the years. And so I remember the owners, the workers very well. And because I remember the owners, the workers very well, um, I, I also remember flower shop and I also the bakery. Um, I know that both of them were before the business that I was in right now already were there. So now there you have it. Um, she tells me for 2008, but I know that both of these businesses were before uh, she got this door because we were coming here in the shop um, prior to this one, uh, the same store um, that was closed and then this one open. Uh, and so I know that the people I'm about to see next, uh, the people that I see right there uh, in the same building since I know them, since I remember them, uh, were either opened in 2008 or prior to that, 2006, whatever. The only thing I can say is that they were before this lady got her shop, or I should say before this employee got her employment in the store. So I know where I'm heading next. This is a Tsukiarna. Now listen to this. This lady is a genius. She is a genius. <laughs> um, I'm going to repeat this for you. She starts to offer me da -da 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 And what is it? Every time we would come under MK Ultra, we would come to this store. This is exactly what she would do when we would enter the store and she can confirm this. These people in this city girls simply love me. And as soon as she did it, this, I was yeah, I could not go wrong with her because under MK Ultra I would even ask. Uh it was always be the same thing. Always be the same thing. She was always do the same thing. And again, she triggered unmistakable. I, I recognized her ability, who she was, and about the business reminded myself. I'm gonna repeat this for you. She goes and she just starts to offer. Um very dynamic. Tom, 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 would you like this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Uh, you know, yeah, I can say this. Thank you very much. I say, no, no, thank you. But she goes on and she reminds me, you see? She goes on and she reminds me who she is. So, thank you very much for this. She knows why I'm there. She recognizes me. She knows who I am. And she said, Dobje, Dobje, she says. And she's waiting for me to ask her. Like I said, people anticipate me when I would go to the stores. They already know who is coming, who is doing it. Uh, 
I asked her if the store was in 2005. Okay, she's saying she's here 10 years. Uh, she is here longer because if the other store was open in 2008, she was here in 2008 million percent. She said she was in 2008. I tell her about her style, how she does. She says yes. No means yes. Yes, the store was before, before, before the alcohol shop, the store was here. So this is going to make 20, 100%. Okay, one moment. I'm not sure what is she talking about. So that this store actually was 14 years already here. This store definitely... She is here 10 years, but the store was 14 years. Okay, so this goes all the way to um, all the way to 2000 and 2009, 2000 and uh, 2004, 2005. So this was, store was open in 2005. She was here already since 2008. Um, so this is yet another 100% shot. This is going to be 20. Um, 20 hundred percent and we got four of them neutral and we have um, four of them neutral fifth shop the lady I I'm gonna go and she was already there since the shop was open in 2008 too I'm going to stop by next time and I'm going to ask her if in Lady in Alcohol Shop she was there already since 2008. As she said the store was open in 2008 because I know she 100% was. She worked very hard to help me out. And then this stupid thing happened right in front of her with the Russians. And the whole, went, the whole thing went down the toilet. I could recognize the store from the outside. But when I stepped inside, because of the Russian brainwash, I would be all confused about it. See, this is why, this is why. Let's continue with this. Yes, they were. Thank you very much. I go out. The next thing is a flower shop right there. The gentleman, I would not miss him in a million years, him and his flower shop. So, there you have 20, and this is going to be 2100% hit. And we go all the way to 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, which is extraordinary beautiful. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. This is the best part. 